Hello everybody, I am Keaton and this is Kid Catholic Season 12, Episode 8. I hope that you all are having an absolutely wonderful Tuesday so far and a very good uh, spiritually beneficial and sacrificial Lent so far as well. Before we get into it, if you could please click the red subscribe button down below, that would be greatly appreciated. We are trying to get to 6,000 subscribers and I know it doesn't seem like much, but really subscribing does help this ministry reach more people, help it to grow and uh, it's easy, it's free, it's quick to sign up, it's free and quick and it would uh, absolutely be phenomenal. So what I want to talk about today is materialism. Now materialism sort of has um, two different meanings and we're talking about it in a philosophical sense then it's more of an official doctrine and official belief. While that is going to be touched on a little bit because it sort of naturally is when talking about materialism we're going to talk about sort of the secular idea of materialism and what I mean by that is I have the dictionary definition of materialism pulled up here. It reads materialism is a tendency to consider material possession and physical comfort as more important than spiritual values. And while I felt why I felt the need to bring this up right now is because I have never seen uh, a more prevalent issue than materialism in our modern society. There's going to be a lot to talk about, and we're not going to be able to get to everything. But the reality is, we as Catholics, as people, as a part of this modern day world, have some of the most distractions, maybe the most distractions of any generation ever. We have uh, our cell phones, we have movies, we have TV, we have all of these things that take up our time. One of the commandments is thou shalt not worship false gods before me. Don't, don't worship false gods above God. And I don't know about you guys, but for a long time, I figured I was doing that perfectly, right? Like, Oh, I'm not uh, bowing down to a calf. I'm not on my knee to a golden statue, right? And, well, yes, that's what that means as well. It's not just that. If we are prioritizing things like our cell phone, things like movies, things like screen time, above God, then we are making that our false God. We are making that a false God that we are putting above the one true God. And that's when it becomes an issue. And I feel like materialism is so important to talk about because... It's an issue that literally, I would say, 99% of us are going through regardless of if, of if we are Catholic or not. The reality is it's important to rely more and think about more the spiritual side of things rather than the physical side of things. Obviously, it's important to, yes, focus on, on the physical world at times. And I'm not saying that things like cell phones or movies or TV are inherently evil. The only way they are evil is if they take up more time than God and or lead us down the path of sin. But if we're just innocently using a cell phone, we're still prioritizing God, there's, there's nothing necessarily inherently evil about that. However, focusing on the spiritual side of our life is something that does not happen nearly enough. We talk about physical health a lot, right? Which is a good thing. Obviously, we should care about our physical health. We should want to be concerned with our physical health. But our spiritual health is something that does not get talked about enough. If we see something that is going to injure us or make us sick physically, we tend to not do it. Yet when it comes to the spiritual side of things, things like our cell phone, things like movies, these distractions, all of these material things, they make us sick spiritually. They hurt us physically, yet it doesn't get talked about or brought up enough. So when something is going to affect us physically, we don't do it. But when something affects us spiritually, we are more inclined to do it. This is because of temptation, right? I'm not saying that sinning isn't our fault. We still have to take responsibility for our sins because we committed them. Those are our fault. But we do get tempted to commit spiritual sins or literal sins. And, and oftentimes we fail to resist that temptation, partly due to the fact that we are focusing so many things on our physical time. I guarantee you, if you were to pull up the screen time on your cell phone, or at least at least Gen Z. We did this at my lunch table today, actually. We pulled up the screen time um, on our cell phones. You can see that in, in like settings. Seeing seven to eight hours was common. There was this one kid who had over 12, right? And that's just a common thing to see in our society, whether we're Catholic or not. Even, even a lot of us who are devout Catholics go through that too. We spend a ridiculous amount of time on our cell phone. Because our spiritual health is so significant, we should pray and, and spend time with God and talk to God more than we are on our cell phone. That sounds drastic to us, but it's just true. Side note, there is a literal thunderstorm going on right now, so if you hear thunder, lightning, raindrops, that's why. Anyway, 
Um, what I will say is that the reason why we oftentimes like fail to either start a spiritual life or, or focus less on our phone and more on the spiritual side of things is because we try to do it all at once. We are a society that is so engulfed in material things, so enriched in, in material entertainment and things like that, that we just lose sight of the spiritual side of things sometimes entirely. And again, I'm not speaking for all of us. I'm speaking in general terms here. So when we are trying to go and focus more on a spiritual life, because we're so engulfed in, in the material things of this world, we try to do it all at once. We try to go from uh, being on our cell phone a, a ton and, and barely ever praying to just, bam, immediately praying more than being on our cell phone. And oftentimes that's why we fail because it does, it's not going to work like that. Making such a drastic move would be phenomenal if we could, and I'm not saying that it's literally impossible, because sure, it's possible, but it's going to be extraordinarily difficult. We need to remember a couple of things when we're trying to focus more on the spiritual side of our life. Number one, if we think we can do it without God's help, we're out of our mind, right? God is right there to help us through it every step of the way. He wants us to focus more on our spiritual health, and he's right there to help us in doing it. Number two, we need to do it gradually, but very, very much do it, right? Like, like when I say gradually, I don't mean barely make an effort. I mean still make a strong effort, but do it gradually to where it becomes a habit. I'm not saying that we should just ditch our cell phone entirely. I'm not saying that cell phones are inherently evil. I have a cell phone. I use a cell phone. I like the cell phone, right? Like, like this is just true statements. But when it, priori when it becomes a priority above God, when we begin to, to worship it as a false God, which we do when we prioritize it over God, then we are losing sight of what's really important, and that is the spiritual, the spiritual world. Guys, we are here to get to the eternal kingdom of heaven and, and get as many other people to heaven as possible. We are called to be saints. So sure, uh, having looking at the materials of this earth, obviously we, we should care about earth. We should care um, about some of the material things sometimes. Sure, like if you want to get, for example, me, I'm a huge basketball fan. I care about basketball. Sure, that's fine. But when it becomes a priority, and I keep repeating this because it's so, so important, we need to drill it into our heads, that is when it becomes an issue. We need to rely on our spiritual side of our life, focus more on it, put more emphasis on it, and it starts little by little. Not just with us, but with everybody else too. And, and that sort of relates to evangelization. And I'm not going to get too much into that because that could be a whole other video. However, it's important that we spread this message of, of focusing less on material, of putting more emphasis on the spiritual life, not just within our own life, but spread it around to others as well. Because we may think that we don't have an impact on society. And sure, one of us going out there making a post one time isn't going to change all of society. But when all of us work together, when we talk to people, when we talk to people we know who are Catholic, who, who might be struggling with materialism, or who even who aren't Catholic, who might be struggling with materialism, when we all work together, we can and do have an impact on society. It's just up to us to understand the importance, the significance of our spiritual life. So now that the topic is done, do y'all know what it's time for now? It's time for... And today's Saint of the Week is St. Paschal Balon. Now, St. Paschal Balon, somewhat of a lesser known saint, um, but he is a 16th century saint. He grew up a shepherd boy, was very devout in his faith from a young age. Ended up, while well, he felt sort of a calling to the priesthood, he did end up um, becoming a monk in a reform order of the Franciscan order, uh, and he ended up becoming that. And in being very devout in his faith, he had a huge devotion to the Blessed Eucharist, which he was very, very known for. And he took Took the vow of poverty to heart. He never wasted anything. He always did his best to give to the poor. And again, that uh, that the real devotion to the Eucharist is so so admirable that Pascal Balon ha had. Now, the, here's the thing. One of the like coolest parts of his story actually happened after his death. So this is just a legend. Um, it isn't confirmed, like with many saint stories. Not all of them, obviously, but there are a good amount of saint stories that are legends. This is one of them. Uh, and it is that at his funeral mass, he sat up in his coffin during the consecration because he had such a devotion to the Eucharist that he wanted to be there for the consecration. How absolutely, like, like that is just mind-blowingly amazing. That is really, really cool to sit and think about that. 
Maybe creepy at points, but really cool to see that kind of a miracle. When we're talking about focusing more on the spiritual side of things, when we're talking about putting less emphasis on, on our material life, St. Pascal Balon is an absolutely phenomenal saint to look to for that who absolutely devoted himself to the Eucharist, to Christ, and on the spiritual side of his life. Um, so, St. Pascal Balon pray for us. So before you guys click off this video again, please click the red subscribe button down below. It's easy. It's free. It doesn't spam your email. It's easy and free to set up an account and it really does help this ministry to go grow. Now, if you are already subscribed, then please uh, click the share button, share the channel link with your friends and family. Make sure that they know about Kid Catholic or subscribe to Kid Catholic. Additionally, I'm not just a Catholic YouTuber. I'm also a Catholic speaker. I've given talks um, to various schools, churches, parishes, men's group, women's groups, uh, whatever you name it uh, across the country. And I would love to come and speak to yours. If you want to book me to come speak, please email me directly at kidcatholic1 at gmail.com or go to my website, kidcatholic.com, click the contact me page and email me from there. Also on my website, there's a speaking engagements tab. So if you want to see sort of how I am as a speaker, there's a whole bunch of details about uh, some talks that I have given up on there. Also on my website, you can go to kidcatholic.com. Uh, there is a shop page up there. So if you want your very own Kid Catholic merch, go check that out. Uh, all my videos are up there. You can read about me. There's a whole bunch of amazing things that you can do on kidcatholic.com. Also, please check out all three of my social medias, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The link to all three of those will be in the description down below. Please comment any saint or topic suggestions that you might have for future videos as well. Please like the video. I hope that you all once again, are having a wonderful Tuesday, and I've had a wonderful, a spiritually beneficial Lent and sacrificial Lent. This was Keaton of Good Catholic. I will see you all next week, and hi, Brielle.